What up, Internet? I am the PC Goblin. <laughs> well, I just got something really cool, and I'm excited to take a look at it and actually get it installed. So this is the Unified Dream Machine Pro. So I'm going to explain what it is, but before I do, let's go ahead and unbox it so we can see what this is. So this is what it looks like when you first get it. Got a box of something. Oh, the power cable and instructions, I'm guessing. And here it is. Take off the foam. Very form-fitting foam. Cool. Well, this is it. See you later. <laughs> so I'm just pulling this tab back. Or flap. So here's the top, the bottom. Now that we've got it unboxed, I can tell you what this is. This is basically a one-stop shop for getting into the Unify ecosystem. Now, how this is a one-stop shop is previously you needed to have the management software, and that was either having it on Cloud Key Gen 1 or Gen 2, or running it on some computer so that you know, it's always gathering info and whatever else, or you just run it once, set everything up, turn it off, and then you have no idea what your system's doing. I really like the cloud key because then I don't have to worry about a VM or anything else. This is what holds it, it's all good to go. And then it's also the Ubiquiti Security Gateway. Now, this is a much better version of it, which I would certainly hope so because it's a lot more money. This is 100, this is like 380, but with this, it's great router. But if you enable all of their security features, now you don't have to, they're just extra features that Unify has, it will slow down your internet down to 100 megabits per second. And I have gigabit ethernet, so that's really not acceptable. And this, when all the features are enabled, this will still do gigabit internet. So fantastic, I'm really excited about that. If you don't know what these are and you're interested, Check out the links on screen so you can see my videos where I talk about what these are, when you use them and whatnot. Now coming back to the Dream Machine, it is also a switch. Now this isn't a ubiquity switch obviously, but still a switch. And that's all this 8 port switch is right here. Now ubiquity, if you're watching, these need to be PoE. And the reason is, is all your access points are PoE. So why do we need to buy another switch? or PoE adapters if this could be doing it. We've, we're already buying this because this is a one-stop shop. Complete the one-stop shop. And on the front of it, we have a little screen right here. I haven't pulled the tag off of it because I want to do that once it's actually installed. It's got a spot for a hard drive that you can use for your Unify camera system if you go that way. It has a 10 gig WAN port, so this is where you'd plug in your 10 gig internet if that's what you've got and then your one gig port for your internet if that's what you've got. So that's gonna be where I'm plugging in my internet. And then this port right here, this bottom one, this is another 10 gig port so you can daisy chain it down into another switch at 10 gig speeds. Honestly, there should be two of them for redundancy, but whatever, you can use the gigs, I guess, as a backup just in case. Now you use the 10 gig port to you know, take it down into another switch. You've got to have a 10 gig cable with SFPs on it, and that's what this is. This is also one of the Unify cables or Ubiquiti cables for this. So I'll pull off this little plastic right here. I'll pull off this plastic right here, slide it in, and then plug it into my other switch and it's good to go. Now, while I get ready to go put this in my server rack, I'm gonna show you guys what it's like setting this thing up, or at least on the software side of things, using the Unify app on your phone to give you guys a better experience of what this is. And the other reason is for the phone is because I couldn't get my computer to actually see this and I was too lazy to connect it directly into my computer to set things up that way. So ran with the phone, picked it up instantly. So without blabbing on even more, let's go ahead and get to it. I apologize about the glare, but like I said, this is the only way I could get this to record and show you what it's like setting it up. So here it found the Dream Machine. We're connecting to it and here it's showing it to us. We can go ahead and rename it. So before I hit next, I'm going to go ahead and rename it. Then it's going to have me sign in with my Ubiquity account. I've got this blocked out because I don't want you guys to know it. And then it asks us some general questions. I want it to auto optimize. I'm not going to send diagnostics. 
shows us the update schedule so if you want it to auto automatically update and here it's going to do a speed test now the ubiquity speed test i've never had it actually give me like a proper result so the download here is a quite a bit slower than what I actually get because I've got a thousand down not you know 300 down but then here on the upload we see something a lot closer to what I actually get so 900 960 it's kind of bouncing around all over the place And then it gives us the results. So there we can actually change it to what our internet is supposed to be. So 1,000 down, 1,000 up. Go ahead and hit next. Gives us a chance to review everything that's there. And now it's going to set up the network, set up the Dream Machine, etc. And then here it's going to go ahead and update the firmware on the Dream Machine automatically. I don't really like this feature, but here it goes. And we'll come right back as soon as it's done. And setup is complete. At this point, if you want to change your IP address, you need to continue on through it because as soon as you break the connection to your controller at this point, you're going to have a problem getting back into it if you're trying to set up a different IP set or a different subnet, as it were. So to set up a different setup, go to the dashboard, and then you're gonna go ahead and go into your network settings and configure your router or gateway the way that it should be. Now that we've set up the Dream Machine, this is what it looks like when you go to it on a browser on your computer, greeted with the Unify OS login. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at settings now. And just so you know, I'm using the Vespula to move my mouse around with this video. And clicking on network takes us to the controller software that's running on the Dream Machine Pro, but this is identical to what's running on the Cloud Key, Cloud Key Gen 2, and what you'd be running on your desktop or VM if you downloaded the software. And that's pretty much it. So now let's go ahead and get this installed in my server room. We've now set up the Dream Machine and it's a pretty awesome experience. It's a pretty great device. The thing is completely silent. When I had it powered up on my desk, I couldn't hear it at all. There's no noise that this thing was making. In my server rack, definitely can't tell it because there's definitely a lot more stuff inside of there that's a whole lot louder. Now, should you get this? If you already have a Unify setup, so you've got the security gateway and or a cloud key and whatnot, probably not gonna be worth buying this because you've already got everything that this thing does already. 
the only thing you'd be gaining most likely is being able to turn on IPS and still be able to get one gig bandwidth in and out of your network, which that is pretty awesome. That's one of the main reasons I got it. But overall, for me, I, I can't say it was really worth it. But if I was coming at this with a brand new setup, wanting to get introduced into the Unify system, absolutely. This thing is awesome. Completely recommend getting it. It's got everything you need to set up Unify. It's got the ability to hold a hard drive like the Cloud Key Gen 2 can, you know, if you want to use their Protect system. And it's easy to install. It's got everything set up on it, you know, switch, gateway, Cloud Key. Buying all those pieces individually would equate to easily just as much as this is, probably even more. So definitely, if you're looking to set up a new Unify network, this is what you want. All in all, it's a great device. It's silent, it's easy to set up. It doesn't cost that much when you consider how much it would cost to buy all the other devices that this one device is. And because it's so simple, I mean, there's really not a whole lot to show other than what I've already shown you about it. So I hope this video has been helpful. If it was, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you have any questions or comments about it, go ahead and leave a comment below. I try to answer those as fast as I possibly can. And if you want to see more of my stuff, I hope you'll smash that subscribe button as well. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching.